Hi, my name is Karina and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. Today we are doing a book tag or actually just a YouTube tag and it's about the little things that are cheering you up right now. <laughs> This tag was created by Gina. I will leave her channel down below, of course. And it was created because she was not feeling that well. I hope you're feeling a lot better now. And she thought it would be fun to talk about the little things that are cheering her up at the moment. Uh, also because the world is not in a very good place at the moment. Maybe it never was, but it's very present now. A lot of things are happening and a lot of people feel actually overwhelmed. And I'm one of them. I'm overwhelmed with a lot of things at the moment. And I think it would do good to look at a few little things that just always make me happy or make me happy in the last few weeks. So I was actually tagged for this tag by Shelley Sherman back in May. So that's quite a while ago. Uh, but there were a lot of videos that I wanted to post first. And I think this is actually a good moment because the last few weeks have been so overwhelming that this is a good time to reflect and actually look at things that make me happy or cheer me up when I'm feeling a little bit down. Uh, so there are no questions to this tag. I will just talk to you until I think, well, now I've said enough. <laughs> but the first thing that is cheering me up is that this is actually the first video that I film in front of my new bookcase of, about which I have been talking all my latest videos but I just made the photo for the thumbnail and the color the rainbow perfect so that is something that is cheering me up and it sounds a little bit stupid but it's literally when I come home from work or for something else and I walk into my living room and I see this I am just so much happier than I was before I walked in so yes that is something that's really making me happy. Something that also really cheers me up in the same way as the bouquets actually is our garden. I've showed it in some reading vlogs but our garden is something that I'm really proud of. Although my boyfriend is definitely the one that's taking care of it. Um, I still feel like I, I am allowed to be a little bit proud of it because when we came here there was actually nothing in the garden. There were a few stones, but they were all cracked up and um, wavy because they were not put into the ground solidly. So everything started to move over time and you almost couldn't walk there. So there was fake grass, uh, two lanes and uh, there were stones where you almost couldn't walk on and there was a lot of sand. So it was not a nice garden. It was not a selling point of the house and it was, well, it looked horrible, but it was quite big. So when we actually moved here, we already thought, okay, we need to do something with this garden, but of course it got the latest priority. Like first you need to sleep somewhere and you need, you want to have a nice living room so that you feel at home and the kitchen needed some adjustments and we wanted to have the attic to have an extra floor there so that people could stay over and we could put our laundry there. So there were a lot of other priorities and the garden was, well, we almost couldn't sit there for like half a year, a little bit more. And then we planned a whole weekend to do it all by ourselves. And we were really not looking forward to it. We were very scared, but we didn't want to pay the money to let someone do it because it would be very expensive. And we thought if we just investigate how you need to do this, then it will probably be all right. This is a very long story for a small thing that is cheering me up, but we actually made the garden ourselves. Uh, it has three different layers that we all laid ourselves with with hiring some machines to put it neatly in the ground. And it's been like this for one and a half years. But the plants really start to grow now. And when in the spring the first flowers came, it was so incredible. It smells so nice outside because we have lavender and jasmine and 
roses. So if you walk into our garden, you see like this big space with green and flowers. We also have some vegetables and we had raspberries, a lot of them, but they are actually already finished. But we had raspberries, we had lemons, um, we had radish. And I just enjoy it so much to walk into our garden and see all this green and see what we've done with it. So yes, that is definitely something that is always cheering me up at the moment. As you might know, if you follow my videos, I have a new job at the bookstore. Of course, that is cheering me up, but I don't think that counts because it's so big. <laughs> it's not really cheering me up. It just makes me happy in general. But what does really cheer me up is when I cycle through my job, I um, need to cycle one long straight road. It's literally from my house to my job. I almost don't go left or right. It's just I start cycling and 11 kilometers later I'm there. <laughs> so uh, there's not much happening, but there's a lot of green where I cycle through. So that's already nice. But I also sometimes pass other people and everyone says good morning. And that really cheers me up. Like lately I was in a bad mood and I cycled there and there was this guy who had a mental handicap. And you could, uh, you could tell when you saw him. Uh, I think he might have had the... Down syndrome, but I'm not really sure. It does matter in this case because um, he was so extremely kind. You almost never see that with people that don't have an illness like that. And he made my day. Just I was so grumpy and I really didn't look forward to the day. And I cycled and he just cycled next to me and he was like, Good morning, my lady. What a nice day it is. And then he, he cycled back, back again to where he came from. And I was just like, thank you. I needed this. And also all the other people that say good morning, of course, I do it as well. So it's like, who's first? Doesn't really matter. People always seem really nice when I cycle to my job. And that makes me really start my day with a good start. So that's actually something that I didn't notice that I missed in my previous job where I worked at home. I was like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. But your day starts so much better when you have a lot of people to say good morning to. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something that's cheering me up. Something else that can always cheer me up is when I have nice food. <laughs> and that is kind of weird maybe, but I don't know, I just really like to eat. Uh, so when I'm in a bad mood, but I come home and my boyfriend cooked a nice meal, I think a lot of things change already. I'm like, oh yes, this is fine. I just have good food. Things are going to look up and there is no need to worry. That is really nice. And I think uh, people can always make me in a better mood by giving me food or chocolate or anything and also something quite related to that although of course i am happy with who i am and i think everyone should be happy with who they are because you are who you are and i hope that you feel the self-love that you deserve but for me i did lose some weight because I am moving more again and eating a little bit more healthy and it was not something I planned it's just because um, the working at home really got me some weight and now that I move again and I saw that I actually lost that weight that makes me happy because when I look in the mirror I'm like yeah this is actually where I wanted to be so that is a good thing right so that's also something that's cheering me up right now. And I'm really happy with that. <laughs> something that's cheering me up as well is something a little bit materialistic, but yeah, 
it's just something that makes me really happy. Uh, and it's not purely materialistic. I had my birthday in the beginning of June and I actually celebrated it and I never do that. I just celebrate it with my boyfriend or maybe my parents sometimes and then we just eat cake and that's it. But I actually celebrated it big because a lot of people didn't see my house yet. I turned 25 last year but due to Covid I couldn't celebrate it at all and I felt like I really missed a milestone. So I was like I'm going to celebrate my 26th birthday and make it big. So a lot of people came and actually it was so nice. People had so much fun. I didn't talk to anyone that didn't have a nice time. People talked to different groups because of course you invite them, people that you know from different things but it ming mangled a bit and it was just a really really nice night and also I found an, a nice balance between uh, partying and drinking and just having nice chats so the next day I felt fine there was not hungover or anything everything was just perfect but the materialistic part of this is that people br brought me gifts and they give me joy as well. Just It doesn't really matter what they actually were, but just the fact that people took the time to think of a gift for me and gave it makes me so happy. And some of those gifts I really walk into often. So yeah, that makes me really happy. <laughs> Something that is also cheering me up Although I can really feel that it might be something that other people hate <laughs> or feel pressured by or overwhelmed. It's really cheering me up. And that is that a lot of people in my surroundings, so my friends and my family, are getting married and getting children. And I just really think it's so nice to have something to look forward to that I can be a small part of. Because normally you just live your life and there are highs and ups and downs. But you often don't see them coming. And I really like that I have some events or happenings in the upcoming time <laughs> that I can look forward to and live towards too. And that my friends and family are in this happy place and have these big life-changing events that I can be a part of. I really, really like that and it really cheers me up. And I do not feel pressured yet <laughs> to take part in this because I think that's the part that's overwhelming to people. But for me, I at the moment really enjoy to look forward to all these events and things and I'm just happy that they are so happy and it can really cheer me up to think of those things. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you that is really cheering me up is actually you and this booktube channel. Because every time if I feel overwhelmed or not so nice, I just actually say it on a video. And people are so incredibly nice. They take the time to sometimes write whole, whole pages of comments to me to just tell me that they think I do okay and that it will be fine and that they are praying for me or that they uh, will continue to support me by watching and no matter what and people are just so nice and the fact that people that I actually don't really know but just because we have a common interest really care about me in some way really makes me happy so thank you so much for actually sticking with me and being here. And I would really, really like to know what's cheering you up at the moment. I'm not tagging people because I'm very late. A lot of people already got tagged. And I think that if you want to do it, please just do it and let me know that you did because I really want to watch it. But if you don't have YouTube, let me know in the comments down below what are small things that make you happy or maybe big things but that all never seem to feel to cheer you up. I would love to know that. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. 
I hope you'll have a lovely day filled with books or other things that are cheering you up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I am really curious to hear what little things cheer you up. Because sometimes you just need a little bit of motivation to get through the day. Although there's maybe not something really wrong, but cheering up is never wrong.